Hey guys, how's everybody doing? I uh, made it up here to uh, the mountains. Um, standing right here by the campfire right now. We got a nice little camping setup going on out here. Uh, so anyway, my brother is getting dinner together right now, and uh, I was just thinking this would be a good time for me to to film video. Um. So I was just talking with my brother, and I was like, "Hey, uh, I was like I'm trying to think of a really good idea for a video." And um, he was like, uh, "Why don't you talk about intimacy?" And um, I was, you know, really hesitant at first. I was like, "Oh, I don't know about that." Uh, <clears throat> and he's like, "No, I think that'd be a really good one to talk about. It's, it's something that we discuss quite often. Um, you know, it's it's." I've never seen anybody talk about this really. Uh, I'm sure there's probably somebody has, but I think it's just something that does need to be talked about because uh, it's important. Um, uh, real quick though, um, before I get into that, um, I, I was talking with my brother. We had just walked down to the uh, main office here at the campground we're staying at, and we're just checking out the pool and all that stuff. And uh, I asked him on the way back over here, I was like, hey, would you be willing to tell a story? Because we were actually talking about how bad of an alcoholic I used to be. And uh, <clears throat> I was like, would you do me a favor and tell a story, of, you know, one of these stories about how bad I used to be? And he was like, I don't know, man. I don't know about that. Because he was talking about how bad it used to be like a couple Christmases ago I'd gotten so drunk I'd passed out um before uh before we even got to open in the presents we were at my parents house and uh, he was like you know this year we're gonna actually you know you're gonna be present and I was like yeah and then that's when I asked him would you be willing to tell a story about one of those times when I was like really bad drunk and like how I used to be and, he said he doesn't know he's got to think about it. I'm hoping I can talk him into it because I think it'd be really good, you know, to hear it from his side. And, uh, you know, he could tell you how bad, you know, I used to get. But back to the topic. Um, so the thing with intimacy after quitting alcohol or, you know, getting sick like I did, um, you know, the thing is, is that you know, if you continue to drink, you know, really heavily, you know, and end up getting sick like I did, I don't know if this affects everybody the same way that it does me, but, you know, if you do get sick and deal with all the issues that I've had, um, it does affect your intimacy. Um, you know, I used to be really, uh, I used to be really sexually charged, um, my libido was, uh, was definitely really, really up there. And, uh, ever since all this happened, um, it's kind of gone away and I, um, I don't really have much of a desire for it anymore. Um, which is, it's a really big change for me. Um, you know, and being a man and being in my mid forties, I didn't think that, you know, at this age that I would already, you know, my mind would be the, where it's at right now as far as, you know, how sexually charged I am and it's just it's just not there anymore um you know I'm not really sure why I don't know if it's because I've been sick or really you know what what it is that causes that but um it it, it that's what it is for me at least uh I do know that times in the past whenever I would stop drinking for like a week or two or up to a month that when I did do that that I would start losing my desire for sex and um, ever since this has happened uh, especially at the beginning of it all um, I was I had no desire at all none completely none and it kind of just happened like over overnight like you know one day I was okay like I said before I got sick and I mean I remember like a week right before that uh I'm not getting into details but I remember like the week before that you know and then after I got sick it was just completely gone um so once again I don't know if that's has anything to do with my illness or 
just because, uh, you know, I was so addicted to alcohol, and now that piece of my life is missing, and, you know, honestly, every time that I would uh, get engaged in that kind of behavior, uh, I was always drinking when I did so, and um, it played a really big part in my sexual life, and... Um, that's been one of the hardest things for me to adjust with now, uh, because it was so ingrained in, in my, um, in my sexual life. And now that it's gone, uh, things are just different and I don't have that desire anymore. Um, you know, I still, uh, think my wife's pretty and beautiful and I still, you know, find her desirable, but just the, uh, just the you know, the urge is kind of gone there now, and I'm hoping that one day that that gets better, but, uh, we'll just have to wait and see. Um, I'm sorry to be so, you know, out there, and I'm not trying to be explicit or anything, but, you know, this is kind of, I guess, maybe a little bit taboo to be talking about, but this is just one of those subjects, like I said, my brother just brought it up, and I thought, wow, that's, that is something good to talk about, because I've never heard anybody talking about this before, and, um, I don't know, does it affect you guys as well? Did you feel like you lost your desire for sex, um, after you stopped drinking, or after you got sick? Uh, I've never talked to a doctor about it before, it's never been something I've ever brought up, because there's always so much more important things to talk about, so... Um, I think that'd be a really good question for me to talk with my doctor about. I don't know if maybe they could put me on some kind of hormones or I don't know. Um, I do know that my testosterone levels were really low in the beginning and my estrogen levels had gotten really high and that had something to do with, uh, the, my liver function. Um, I think when you have a really unhealthy liver that you do produce excess amounts of estrogen. Um, I know that I was very emotional uh, during that period of time. I would cry a lot. And uh, I did talk to my doctor about that and he told me that uh, I was getting really emotional because, uh, because my estrogen levels had gotten so high. They had done blood work and um, he told me that's what it was due to. But anyway. So, question for you guys, you know, if any of you are comfortable talking about it and let me know how you feel. Um, did it affect you? Did, did, did your uh, sex life change after quitting alcohol or after getting sick? And uh, what do you think it's attributed to? Because I don't really know. Um, you know, I do have multiple things wrong with me and I don't know, maybe one of those things might play a big part in it. I'm not really sure, but... Uh, maybe it still has to do. I haven't had my um, estrogen levels or testosterone levels checked in quite some time, and that probably be a really good. I know I'm up for um, to have a full blood panel done here in January. Uh, they need to take a look at some uh, enzymes and stuff like that, and uh, I'm going to ask them to take a look at my uh, hormone levels again and see where those are at and see if maybe there's something they can do that they could adjust it and maybe fix that, but we'll see. But anyway... I um, hope to get some really good feedback from you guys on this subject. Um, let me know what you think and what, and what you've experienced with it, if you're comfortable. Uh, but like I said, my, um, my desires have gone away. And, um, you know, that's kind of unfortunate. I wish it was different, but that's where I'm at right now. Anyway, um, like I said, I'm up here in Cherokee, North Carolina. We'll be here until Tuesday, I think. Hopefully, as long as, you know, it doesn't snow really bad and we feel like we need to leave early or something, um, or I get sick or something like that, uh, Lord, please don't let that happen, but, um, and that will be here till Tuesday. I've got really good Wi-Fi, uh, connection here. I plan on filming a good bit of videos while I'm up here and, um, making quite a few videos. Uh, it's a beautiful place. I really would like to show some of the scenery make some videos around like some waterfalls and stuff like that as long as it's not too loud um and just show you guys a little bit of this area as well and you know not just talk about alcohol the whole entire time but maybe just do some videos of some of the stuff i see around here maybe let you guys see some of the stuff that you know there is to do um but anyway uh you know if you're interested stick around for this weekend and check out the videos i'm gonna post up it's gonna be a little bit different from what i've normally done but I hope you guys uh, enjoy it and um, look forward to posting up another video tomorrow morning. I'm going to try to get up maybe two or three videos tomorrow. So anyway, hey, I love all you guys. 
God bless everybody. I hope you have a great night, and um, I'll see you tomorrow.